considered competitive scores in general? Well, it also depends whether your GPA is rising or falling. If you have a 3.6 and you had a 4.0 and now you have a 3.0, um, then that's not a great profile because mm -hmm. it's not a fabulous trajectory mm -hmm. uh, to head into your med school classes. So it's really individualized. I would never sit down with a student and say, here's, here's my cutoffs, and our office won't do that. Um, our office writes letters for anybody who feels they're ready to apply. We'll advise them what we think, and for and it's different for each school, it's different for each kind of major. So for us, we like to see a 3.2 science because at our school, like several others, we have repressed science GPAs. Mm -hmm. The schools who know us know that. So for us, that's kind of good advice. But for a different school, that line might be different. That doesn't mean you can't apply if you have a compelling story or a strong upward trend or you've done a post back. So this isn't a cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. So for us, that's kind of, okay, here's the neighborhood you want to be in. Uh, the further above that, you know, it gets, it's like the Upper West Side, you know, the further <laughs> above that line you get, the nicer it is. Um, but it is not a cookie cutter. It's just, you want to be competent in the sciences. How have you shown it? Uh, one of the ways you show that is to get decent grades, and at least your recent grades should be high in sciences.